It's made of beef, bacon, mushroom, pies. I just cooked up the extra bit of bacon to go with the beef. Nice big chunks of beef in there. And mushroom. So I'm gonna let that sit for a while. I've got the pastry out thawing. My pie dishes all buttered up. So I'm gonna go and have a coffee, come back in about 15, 20 minutes. Start making them. Bacon. <laughs> you got a belief. Right, I've put the short crust pastry in the pastry tins. I've done all four of them. Now I'm going to put in some of this yummy beef, bacon, and mushroom mixture. Very simply, drop it in. You just know it's going to be good with a combination of bacon, beef, and mushrooms. Let me fill up the rest of these and then I will put the tops on and show you that. Right, now we put a little bit of egg wash just around the edge just to help it stick like glue. And we're going to put I'm going to use a little bit of this because it's just the capping we need. So that's puff pastry going on top. Plastic, we'll be able to move to the next stage. You see where the pie shell is underneath. What we do is cut around. So that was one pie completed. I am going to get my little fork. the edges. This stops the filling squeezing out too and spilling. So it looks like a pie, like a ball one. So short crust pastry on the bottom because it firms up nicely and then you can pick up and eat the pie like you should do. That's what Aussies do. They pick up the pie and eat it. Puff pastry on top for that crispy crunchy finish. You could do all short crust pastry if you liked. So that's one finished. Now I'm just going to put in that many holes. We'll let it breathe. I'll finish off the rest. We're going to chuck it into an oven, nice and hot. Back shortly. Okay, they're all made up. I've just put the tops on now. I'm just going to put a bit of egg wash. Just to give us that nice golden finish. Put it on a tray in the oven. The oven's about 205 degrees Celsius. So I'm guessing that's 410, 420. If you can turn it down if you like, it's up to you. We just need the actual pastry cooked. All the ingredients inside are already cooked. It's a beauty about a pie. You can eat it at a picnic, at the footy, wherever you like. And it's sort of Australia's national dish, without doubt. I don't know how many pies would get sold normally on a weekend watching a footy at grounds, but we had like 80 to 100,000 people go to footy ground. You could be assured 90% of them are gonna have a pie. Well, I do like a little bit of black pepper on mine, so I'm going to put a bit of black pepper on that one, and that one. Throw these in the oven within about 25 minutes, thereabouts, should be good to go. Okay, they've been in there about three or four minutes, about another 22 minutes, they should be good to go. They're looking all right. Yeah, excellent. Wow, look at that. What am I doing? I'm pie watching. It's a bit like bird watching, but you get to eat them. I'm definitely going to eat them. They're not too far away. Some people like to bird watch, I like to pie watch. So what is it to you? I know what I'd rather do. Watch pies. Now I like birds as well. They'll be coming out shortly. It's time to take the pies out. <sighs> they smell good. They look good. Very hospital. Very hospital.
Look at that. That is the difference between a mere mortal and a pie. Let them cool down a couple of minutes, take them out the shells, put them on a rack, and we'll check them out. No touching while I'm away. Right, I've just taken the last pie out of the pie tin. Check out the bottom on that. Eh? That is perfection. So, we're going to have pies for dinner tonight. And you saw how they were made. Put anything in a pie you like. Doesn't matter. But you've got to be honest. Pick it up, whack a bit of sauce on top, and go watch the footy, which we can't do at the moment, but it won't be long. So for all you pie lovers, I hope you enjoyed this video. For those that didn't, I don't care. If you happen, thanks for watching.